Hey, good afternoon everyone. My name is Madhul Sashteva. I'm a lead SE with Zoto, covering the APAC region. Today I just quickly want to take you through the overview of what Zoto as a solution is. Uh, so it's a complete enterprise class disaster recovery and business continuity solution for your virtual data center. So a couple of key things I really want to highlight about our solution here is Zoto is 100% virtual aware. And what I mean by that is we are completely aware of what's going on in your virtual environment. So any changes that you make in your virtual environment at the protected site are actually reflected at the DR site. We are a software-only solution in that you know, there is no additional requirements for any hardware required. We just uh, simply install uh, within your existing infrastructure. Tier 1, uh, tier one Enterprise Class Solutions. So Zerto has been specifically designed for your Tier 1 mission critical applications. So likes of your Exchange Server, your SQL Server. All of those mission critical applications is exactly what Zerto has been designed to protect. Automated re uh, replication and recovery. So Zerto is a complete automated and orchestrated solution that provides you a single pane of glass management and a fully, auto uh, fully uh, automated DR solution. Uh, so I quickly want to take you through the, the uh, architecture overview here. So our, our solution Zerto comprises of two key components, as you can see on the slides here. So a primary component being the Zerto Virtual Manager, which is the management component here, uh, which is quite similar to what you see in, uh, in VMware's environment in terms of your vCenter. So, so what vCenter does for VMware is what Zerto does for, for uh, replication. Okay? So our, our Zerto Virtual Manager uh, software is basically deployed on a Windows VM, which appears as a plugin within vCenter, thus giving you that single pane of glass management. Okay, so the next component, which is uh, also deployed through that Zerto Virtual Manager interface, is the virtual, uh, virtual replication appliance. Now, this is the heart of our technology. As you can see on, on the slide, this is where the replication occurs. Now, by replicating be uh, between our appliances at the hypervisor level, we're actually uh, able to shift the replication away from the traditional storage based replication, which means we are actually, we can replicate from anything to anything. We're completely agnostic to the storage layer underneath. Okay, thus you may, thus giving you the flexibility of being able to break free from those vendor lock-ins and being able to make those infrastructural decisions in the future. Highly scalable. So Zerto is a fully scalable solution that, because we are a software-only solution, you can uh, use Zerto to, to, Zerto can be installed non-disruptively non within your existing environment without any downtime. So one of the key things I wanted to highlight here is the recovery point objective. So, so with Zerto, the recovery point objective, that is the amount of time or the amount of data you stand to lose in terms of a disaster is, is reduced to uh, literally single digit seconds. How we were able to achieve that is Zerto is a near sync continuous replication engine, which is writing those changes across as, as they occur uh, in a compressed format to the DR site. And one of the key things I want to highlight here is Zerto does not use any sort of snapshots. And as, as any VMware administrator would agree with me, whenever we talk about snapshots, there is bound to be production impact. Now Zerto does away with that sort of a, a scheme and what we use instead is a journal of changes which is maintained at the DR site. Now that allows us to give you a, a point in time recovery and offer a CDP or a continuous data protection history of worth up to five days, which is co configurable of course. So now you can think of, you can rewind and forward your application like you would uh, live TV for example. So bandwidth uh, can be a concern sometimes when we talk about replication. Now Zerto has inbuilt uh, bandwidth uh, optimization and throttling tools, which means bandwidth is no longer a concern. Okay, so Zerto does not have any strict ba uh, bandwidth latency requirements, which means we can start replicating with something as small as five meg link. Um, if you do use appliances like a silver peak or a riverbed, Zerto works great with them. Uh, and if, if you do not, Zerto's uh, inbuilt compression tools work really well as well. Right. I quickly want to introduce you to a concept of a virtual protection group. Now this is very important from a consistency point of view. So think of these uh, protection groups as a consistency, logical consistency grouping of all the VMs that would come together to make an application. Okay? So for an example, you know, you, you, you'll have an application with components like a, a database server, a web server, an, an application server. All those components that could be spread across multiple security tiers, multiple pieces of infrastructure that would come together to form an application. The idea with these consistency groups is you put them in one consistency group, okay? So a VPG or a virtual protection group would translate into an application, okay? The idea is by putting them in, into this group, we actually maintain what we call is a right order fidelity across all those VMs in that group. Okay, so 
the order in which the data is being written to disk amongst those VMs is maintained and preserved across at the DR side. Very important for, from a consistency point of view, okay? What that means is when you actually fail over your application, you know, you're guaranteed with Zerto that all the VMs as part of that group will fail over to that exact same point in time. So if you pick a, a two o'clock uh, checkpoint to fail across, uh, fail across to, all your VMs will come up at exact 2 p.m. Okay. Another thing I quickly want to highlight here is with Zerto, when we talk about, you know, you can continue leveraging features like vMotion, storage vMotion, you know, all the benefits that are offered to you by VMware today that make an administrator's life easier, you can continue using them. In fact, we recommend you continue using them. So, okay, here I want to talk about the recovery time objective. So with Zerto, the recovery time objective, which is the amount of time it would take you to bring up your site in terms of a true disaster, is reduced to a, a matter of minutes, okay? And that is simply because the amount of data or the, the data that you would need to bring up your site at the DR site is already being replicated there. So it literally is the amount of time it would take Zerto to power on those VMs in a DR site, okay? And as part of that process, we can do things like IP reconfigurations for you. We can connect the right connect, uh, networks. You know, we can uh, look, uh, look after your boot order. You know, all these things can be handled automatically. In addition to that, you can actually run pre and post recovery scripts to do things like change uh, or push change, IP changes to the DNS, okay? And you can be very creative with those scripts. Um, Next point uh, happens to be one of my personal favorites and I think that is one of the key strengths with Zerto is the non-disruptive DR testing. Now DR testing can be a very big painful uh, point, okay? So, so DR testing can require a lot of planning and then in the end not go as planned. With Zerto, you know, you can run DR testing non-disruptively during production hours, um, you know, without, without much planning whatsoever. And what's the key thing here is whilst you run those DR tests, your replication is not broken in the background. So that is very, very powerful, which means if you're running a DR test and a true disaster does occur, you can simply stop your DR test and go into a live failover, still maintaining that aggressive RPO worth of seconds. Very, very powerful. And that, another feature I want to quickly introduce is the feature of the offsite clone. So with Zerto, you can take complete copies of your application for, for long-term retention and for archiving and testing purposes. Now, with Zerto, so Zerto is one solution that's been designed for both your on-premise and also the cloud environments, okay? So that's one solution that spans across both those scenarios. So from a cloud service provider perspective, you can use the following uh, scenarios. So you can leverage the same solution for a DR as a service scenario where you have your on-premise on production workloads, which can be actually failed over across to a, a cloud provider or managed cloud service provider as environment in a DR as a service scenario. It can be used for inter-cloud sort of replication, both in private and public cloud, so more of a hybrid cloud, a sort of hybrid cloud solution as well. The vision of Zerto is to move away from that you, that tie-ins at the, at the hardware level, okay? So as a customer, what, what do you really want to be protecting your applications? The customer really concentrates on, you know, protecting the applications, worrying about the SLAs and the cost, okay? Those are the, the key factors that the customer really worries about. So Zerto's vision is to move away from any sort of vendor lock-ins by giving you the flexibility of not having to worry about where your workloads sit in terms of your, your uh, infrastructure, your pro uh, service providers. The idea is you, you should be able to, or you should have the flexibility of being able to migrate your workloads without having to worry about any sort of tie-ins. And this is what the Zerto interface looks like. So as you can see, it actually simply plugs in within vCenter. Uh, and appears as a plugin within uh, vCenter, so you've got that single pane of glass management for everything infrastructure, but also everything replication. Uh, one uh, key thing I want to bring up here is, so Zerto today is a VMware solution, but uh, later this year, in fact, maybe spanning across into the first quarter of next year, we'll be adding support for Hyper-V and uh, AWS, which means you'll be able to now replicate uh, workloads from VMware uh, to Hyper-V and to AWS. That's giving you that flexibility of being able to replicate and cross-replicate workloads without having to worry about where your workloads sit and thus giving you the flexibility of making that decisions in the future. So that's about it. And if you've got any other questions or would like to maybe arrange for a few demonstration, uh, please visit our website and request a free trial uh, at www.zerto.com. Thank you.